The Gift of Righteousness, by Pastor Cornelius R. Stamp. Street. Paul, in his Epistle to the Romans, refers to those who receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness, Rom. 517, which God in love bestows upon all who trust in his Son for salvation. The Bible declares that no man can ever stand uncondemned in the sight of God, the judge of all, unless he receives righteousness as the gift of God's grace. Quoting from the Psalms, the Apostle says in Romans 3:10, It is written, There is none righteous, no, not one. This is why Paul pitied those who continued to go about, to establish their own righteousness, Rom.103. He knew that their struggle was utterly futile, that they needed to be saved, see verse 1. Let us thank God that the Lord Jesus Christ took the condemnation and judgment of our sins upon himself at Calvary so that his righteousness might be imputed to us by grace through faith. Regarding Abraham's justification before God, the Apostle says, What saith the Scripture? Abraham believed God, and it was counted unto him for righteousness, Rom.4, 3. Abraham's justification, of course, was based on the fact that Christ was to die for sin, but Christ's death is now past, it is an historical fact. Thus righteousness is now proclaimed through Christ and offered to all as a gift. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us, Rom.5, 8. God hath made him to be sin for us, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him, Ecor, 521. But we must receive this righteousness as a gift, for, to him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness, Rom.4, 5. 